Hi teachers, this quick video is going to show you how to get those images with transparent backgrounds or how to make your own images with transparent backgrounds. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is how you search for those images within a Google app. Obviously this works in Google Slides. I happen to be in Google Drawings at the moment. I'm going to go to insert image and I am going to search from the web and I'm going to look for the image of a desk and then following desk, I am going to write the words transparent background. So Google's pretty smart. It will, for the most part, pull images that have transparent backgrounds. If I find a desk that I like, or find a desk that I could care less about, here we go. <laughs> You'll notice you still see the checkerboard completely surrounding this image. So when I see this checkerboard completely surrounding this image, that lets me know that this is a, an image that will have a transparent background. If I were to change the background of my canvas, the color will completely surround the image. So adding the words transparent background to your search when you're searching within the Google app in the search the web feature can allow you to find mostly images like this. Now, this is a little different when you are out in Google searching for something. So when I'm on Google searching for something, I can search for desk transparent background, but I may not have it as good of a luck. So the name of the type of image that has a transparent background is actually a PNG. So I am going to search for desk PNG. And then I'm going to go over to my images. And I would do this because sometimes the images I find within the Google image search inside slides or drawings aren't exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm going to find more by going out to the internet completely. Now, when I click on one of these images, I can see the little thumbnails have different things. I see some thumbnails that have the checkerboard in the background and some thumbnails that have white in the background. So this is important to note. It's a little hint on what truly is going to have that transparent background. So if I click on one of these, I wait a moment and then I see the checkerboard. I can tell that this image most likely will have a transparent background. So I'm going to right click on it, copy it, and head back over to my drawing and paste it in. And you can see, sure enough, it does have a transparent background. But if I head back here and I click on a thumbnail that I can see the checkerboard in, and I right click on this to copy, I'm guessing this one is going to paste with the checkerboard showing. So that becomes an issue because it's not really a transparent background. It looks like it was supposed to be. So rule of thumb, if you see the checkerboard in the thumbnail, I can guarantee it probably really isn't going to have an invisible background. The other thing that can sometimes happen is images will come up and you won't see the checkerboard background when you click on the thumbnail. Instead, you'll see a white background. Um, and this one's taking a little bit to load. Let's see if we can find one that's an imposter. Okay, so here's an imposter. I click on the thumbnail. It says it was supposed to be a PNG. But when I click on the thumbnail, I can clearly see that the checkerboard does not appear in this image. And if I right click on this and copy it, you'll notice the whole white background is there. So just pay attention for the image you can click on. Once the image foliage is loading, fully loads over here. If you see that checkerboard background appear, then that most likely is going to have that transparent background. So the other nice thing is the default on a Google Drawings Canvas. This is for drawings, not for slides. The default on a Google Drawings Canvas is transparent. So if I were to take and combine a couple of images, if we can add some random things here. Okay, there's a transparent background here. We'll add one more. Uh, 
Okay, so all three of these have a transparent background. So let's say I arrange them some way. Maybe I put the apple on the desk and the ruler on the desk as well. I can now save these as an image and because I have that transparent background, I'll be able to use this image elsewhere. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. All right, and now I'm going to file, download this PNG. You need to make sure you download it as a PNG or this won't work. We're gonna just call it desk with Apple. And I'm going to head over to my slide and now I want to, I'm gonna make the background a color so you can maybe see that this is having a transparent background. So I'm going to insert an image from an upload. Where is my desk with Apple? And you'll notice it actually came through, now it's one image and you can't move anything around and there is a transparent background. So you can use Google drawings to create your own compilations of things and then make that have a transparent background. There is not an option for transparent backgrounds. Well, let's see. I don't believe it goes 100% transparent with slides. I haven't tried it. I know for sure it works with drawings. So give a try either way. Hopefully this helps you with adding images and creative things to those interactive slides or drawings.